Imagine this, instead of starting your own YouTube channel, showing your face and doing all of the work yourself, you create a code and that automates your entire channel so that you can make a lot of money on autopilot. In today's video, I'm going to be reacting to I made a full YouTube channel with code. Let's see how he does this. Before that, leave a like, subscribe and let's go. Compilation channels that pretty much put up funny videos or Reddit threads and they get a ton of views. But finding the content, editing, and uploading all of this would take a lot of unnecessary work. So what if we could make a computer do this all for us automatically? That would be the dream. Now with YouTube automation, as you guys know, you're kind of doing this, but you're delegating the work. Having code and then doing it on autopilot, like literally autopilot, that is some next level stuff. Interesting to see if he's going to pull this off. Uh, well, yeah, let's do it. So pretty much we're going to make a fully automated YouTube channel that can make these videos and upload them to YouTube without us having to do anything after it's made. Automated YouTube channels have actually been getting a lot. So he's actually pulling up YouTube automation as the business model. Now this dude, I'm not sure about him. I heard he's in some like lawsuits and stuff like that. So we're not going to pay attention to that. Anyway, automated YouTube channels have actually been getting a lot of buzz lately. There's also a lot of people running scams for it, asking for like one grand to set one up for you. But nah, let's just make one. Yeah, I don't believe in this either. If you offer people to build up their entire business for them for 1K, obviously they're going to need to make more money because otherwise why would you buy it? So if you're able to do that every single time, guaranteed, then why would you take 1K from someone else to build them a 10K channel? You would just build yourself a 10K channel. So if you're doing the entire business done for you, it's kind of weird in my opinion. Which is why I stick to elements of the YouTube automation business done for you, not the entire thing. I don't believe in that. With programming. We're going to make a YouTube channel in a niche that finds the best content online, combines it all into a comp- Guys, already this is looking like some high-tech stuff, you know, like with YouTube automation, you delegate the work, but this looks like a next level, basically. Insane. And then uploads the videos all automatically every single day. And if this keeps up consistently, like with daily uploads for a few months, there's a high chance that it would gain some viewers and subscribers. Maybe we could monetize it and that'd be pretty dope. But yeah, so that's going to be interesting. So he's going to do the meme niche, which I'm not 100% sure if you can monetize it. It's kind of like one of the trickier channels that you could start. So let's see if you can actually monetize it. But in my opinion, the concept is insane. Like he can get this to work. Insane. Congrats. However, I'm not sure if he's going to be able to monetize the videos. So let's see. But now, we gotta decide on a type of YouTube channel that we wanna make. On YouTube right now, there's actually a lot of meme compilation channels where they pretty much just take memes from Twitter or Instagram and put them together. Yeah, so in my opinion, this is definitely not the right way to do it because you're not adding any value, you're just doing compilation stuff, which in 2022 and beyond is not gonna work anymore in terms of monetization. So that may be a mistake, but let's see where it goes. And some of them are actually really big. But, you know, as the owner of the best meme page on Instagram, I feel like their memes aren't that good and that we could do better. Alright guys, so we're pretty much making our channel about memes. Honestly, it could be for anything. But for now, let's talk about the steps that we gotta do. Alright guys, so check me out. The first thing that we gotta do is get content from the internet. And so imagine that, you know, this bag of protein powder is the internet. Let's see where he's going with this, guys. This is gonna be interesting. Pay attention. Do is get the content that we want from the internet using a program and then uh, put it into <laughs> and then put it into the blender bottle. And the next thing we have to do is edit and make our video. So this is going to be like our program uh, shaking up the bottle and then making our protein shake. And then our program is also going to have to upload our videos to YouTube. And this is like drinking the protein shake. I love this dude so far. He's got he's got a funny angle at it. Let's put it that way. To do is clean the bottle after drinking it, and this is like deleting all the files that we downloaded. All right, ten out of ten analogy. Now let's head. Definitely ten out of ten. In fact, eleven out of ten. I would give it. So the first thing that we gotta do is scrape for videos, and there's a lot of good memes on Twitter, but it's more crowdsourced, so it'd be harder to find and download these videos. Instagram, on the other hand, has meme pages that pretty much repost any memes that they find funny, and the best ones have like 20k followers. By the way, guys, look at how many tabs this guy's got open, like dozens. It's crazy. Like, how can you focus like that? Like, I can't. I cannot have like so many tabs open. I'm just gonna go crazy. Private. But what we can do is have a list of the best meme pages on Instagram and then scrape their reposts in the past 24 hours and then we'll have our memes. 
So I looked online and found two Python libraries that can help us do this. One is called Instaloader and the other is called Instaluder. So now what we can do is make an Instagram account, follow all the best meme pages, and then write a script to download all the videos. Post Interesting. So that is the difference between YouTube automation and then doing it with code. Because with YouTube automation, you would get a person. So you delegate the work to then collect all of the videos. But with code, it's pretty much done automatically. Now, I know nothing about code or writing or anything like that. So it's going to be interesting to see how he's going to pull this off. But the concept is amazing. In the past day onto a folder on our computer. Okay, so now we're going to code our script. And I'm not going to be going over the specifics of our code because apparently not many people care about it. Yeah, I mean, I care about it. It's just that I've got no clue at all. Like he can put whatever here and I'll be like, yeah, seems about right. You know, so it's not that I don't care, but I, I just don't know. I'm clueless about it. Second thing that we have to do is create a video compilation. We have a whole folder of videos that we want to compile and all the videos come in different sizes. Okay, so from using that code, he's now got all of these videos downloaded and he's going to put them into a compilation, which I honestly avoid doing if you want to do YouTube automation. Definitely not the right way to go about things. But from the coding side of it, it's pretty cool. To make it so that they all fit nicely into the YouTube uh, 1920 by 18, 1080 frame. And do this, we can use some programming to scale the videos into our frame while keeping the same aspect ratio. Then we can randomize the order of the memes so they don't come in batches from the same user and then compile them into one 15 minute video using a library called MoviePie. Now we can program. Pretty smart, good idea. So he's basically putting them together in a way so that not all the posts are in order in terms of the theme pages. So he avoids that problem and then he's doing another code so that he can actually put them in a 15 minute compilation. Pretty insane. I wonder if like in the future, instead of having YouTube automation and you delegate the work to freelancer teams, like I've been doing now, this will get more common where you've got people writing code that will allow us to then build these channels and get videos done. I doubt it though, cause it kind of takes uh, some creative work to put together some videos. So I doubt it will happen, but it's a pretty cool concept at least. And I also made a little intro video that's gonna play at the start of each compilation. Okay, so let's try it and it works. But the only problem is that it takes a long time to run. Like here, it's gonna take four hours to finish our compilation. Yeah, that is actually a, like a pretty long time. I would say in terms of the editing with YouTube automation, it's gonna be less. Like if you can get someone to do it, it's gonna be way less. But this is uh, like automated, so. Compilation just runs sequentially or putting one video after another. We can make it run in parallel on multiple cores on our computer. What this is going to do is make portions of our compilation all at the same time and then combine them at the very end. All right, guys. So like could be me. I just don't get it. I'm not sure what he's saying. Like that could be too high of a level for me to understand, but let's see where it goes with this. Okay. So the next thing we have to do is make a YouTube channel to post these videos on. And so here I have the YouTube channel It's called Chewy. Uh, I don't really know why it's called Chewy. It's the first adjective that came to mind. I didn't really put much thought into it. Um, but here we have a cover photo that I made and also a big Ooga Ooga profile picture. I mean, great channel art. <laughs> like, what can you say about it? Perfect. It's good to go now. And the next thing we need to do is write a script to post our videos onto YouTube automatically. To do this, we're going to be using the YouTube API. And on this channel, we've used the YouTube API quite a bit and it still can use some work. So Google, you guys can hit me up anytime. We're also gonna be generating a description with the timestamps for each video, followed by the account that it came from. And this is gonna be pretty chill to do. That is pretty smart. He's gonna explain why, but it's basically for the credit. So if you're actually crediting these people with the clips, it's gonna like, well, like it's still not like 100% safe in terms of copyright, stuff like that, but it definitely adds to it because let's say that I'm making a video, someone reposts it, but at least credits me, I might be like, yeah, that actually gives me some exposure. So giving credit to the original owners is definitely a great thing to do, which he also did by coding. So this dude is pretty smart. Because we have all the information that's needed from the previous parts. And to upload it, all we gotta do is use the YouTube API's function called videos.insert and give it information like our title, description, time to be posted, and our video. 
All right, so honestly, I'm not sure if that's then actually a benefit or not, because if you still need to put in the title, the time to post, all that stuff, you may as well just upload it normally and then do that same stuff within the YouTube studio itself. So I'm not sure if that's gonna be a benefit or gonna make it go faster or whatsoever, but let's see how he does this. But I've, I have a funny feeling it's not gonna matter that much, to be honest. Code a little bit. And then, yeah, just like that, we're gonna try it. I'm gonna try posting the intro video and seeing if it works. And what it does is it logs onto our YouTube channel, uploads our video, and now on YouTube, we can see that our video was- All right, so that is actually pretty, like, cool. I'm not sure, I don't feel like it's faster whatsoever, um, but it's pretty cool, let's put it that way. It's fully published by our program. So now we got everything set up. Every day our main program is gonna scrape all the content in the last 24 hours, make our compilation, and then upload it to YouTube. But ideally, we don't actually want to use our physical computer for this, because this would mean that our computer would have to be on 24 seven for the program to run. Yeah, that is indeed a problem. I can see how that can go wrong. Now, what I would like to do, let's see if this channel is actually still around. Let's go to Chewy, and let's see if it actually exists still. So we've got this channel that is called Chewy. It just, it, it, nah, that's not the channel. So it seems like the channel is either gone or has a different name by now. Um, that's a shame. I would, I, I would have loved to see the channel still around and get a lot of views. But it seems like that is not gonna be the case. Now, I love this video. Funny dude, great way to do YouTube, or at least test it. I don't feel like it's actually worth it. I would still stick to YouTube automation, delegating the work, so outsourcing it to freelancer teams. If you want to learn more about that, check out the resources in the description down below. Anyway, great video. Leave a like on the video if you want to see more, subscribe to the channel, and then I'll see you in the next one.